they've worked very hard. They put in a lot of time, and and uh, uh, our chemistry is getting better. Uh, we were without Thomas uh, a few days in practice, and 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 that hurt us. Uh, he's such a, a, a dynamic leader for us. Uh, but um, he's back and in full swing, and 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 then we've had. Uh, um, our new guys continually every day show improvement and and uh, you know it's a vast uh, difference between a veteran and a new guy in terms of experience and knowledge and and uh, probably one of my biggest weaknesses is, I, is my impatience this time of year but uh, I've been really pleased with our effort and I've been uh, 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 we had tremendous practice um, yesterday our best practice of the year and, and, and so that excites me. Well Jaquan has been a young man that we've that uh, has actually missed a little time due to strep throat so um, he's maybe progressed a little slower at this point than, than I'd hoped, but uh, uh, his long-term ability to help us is, 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 is very, very good. He's athletic, he's long, he's got a 7'4 wingspan, uh, he's a tremendous runner. And then at uh, 245, 250 pounds is a young man that uh, uh, gives us a presence that we have not had. And, and uh, uh, he's, a, he's got great timing. He's a very good shot blocker. Uh, he's gaining knowledge and understanding every day of what we're doing offensively and, and uh, where his uh, uh, opportunities are going to be. Uh, we've got to get him to continually be a better rebounder, but uh, that's a work in progress, and, and, and he's made marked improvement there. Uh, and then you throw in uh, C.J. Williams, another junior college transfer. C.J. is completely different, highly, highly skilled, 6'5", uh, 6'6", six, six, six maybe in, in the 260-pound range, but moves. Uh, he's very agile. He's very quick. Uh, has tremendous, tremendous vision, is, is one of the best passers on our team, and every day has a pass or two that you just sit there and go, wow. And, uh, and yet, uh, he's a guy that was a double-digit rebounder in junior college. That presence on the glass has been uh, uh, something we've noticed in practice and, and very excited about uh, uh, him and, and, and how he's going to fit in and give us uh, uh, a different piece than we've had in terms of, of just sheer physical size. So both those junior college guys have been uh, uh, great attributes to this point and, and we're excited about their development and, and, and uh, uh, throughout the course of not just this season but next season what, uh, uh, what they're going to bring to our program. Dallas is a rock. No matter where, um, whether he's starting or coming off the bench, you know exactly what you're getting from him. And, uh, he's one of the first young men we signed in this program. He's a guy that is uh, uh, not just an outstanding uh, uh, basketball player, he's a tremendous student. Uh, he's very committed, very dedicated, uh, and doesn't take any plays off. He's a young man that works extremely hard at, at every aspect of his game, and he, he attributes a lot of uh, uh, his success to hard work. And, uh, Dallas is a guy that can play multiple positions. He can play the point. He can play the off guard spot. Um, he'll he'll continue to do that this year as well. And uh, a guy that has gotten better every year. He's gotten stronger. Uh, he's he's gotten more agile. He's become a better athlete. And uh, I'm expecting a big big year from Dallas. He's one of the best shooters on our team. Uh, he's a guy that spends countless hours in the gym shooting and and. Uh, uh, his improvement is something that uh, uh, we're very excited about. He's also an outstanding leader and a guy that uh, not just leads by example, but he's vocal. He's, uh, uh, he, he's a personality in the locker room that we enjoy and uh, a terrific young man. And, and, and again, a guy that's a, uh, it's a, uh, he, he sets the standard uh, for, our, for our program in terms of what is uh, uh, what we want those young men to be, and that's hardworking and, and first class and, and handle their academic responsibilities, and uh, Dallas does that at the highest level. I came to SFA because Coach Underwood, he called me as soon as he left South Carolina, and he got the job. And in the recruiting process, you know, you have a hard time of telling which coaches are real and which coaches are not. And I just got a great vibe from Coach Underwood. You know, he wanted me to come out here really badly, just take a visit, see the campus, and when I came, I just fell in love with everything and the players, the community, everything about SFA that I like. And I just wanted to you know, be a part of the program. And he talked about building a dynasty and building a legacy. And I know I wanted to be a part of that and be one of the first people, you know, 
one of the first teams besides Team 2009 to go to the NCAA tournament, but to win a game, and it happened. You know, we're trying to build upon that in each upcoming season. When I visit here, I really felt like it was a it was a home for me. I feel like, like they really welcomed me in, and and I, and I felt like they was gonna push me to the limit more than any other school. So this is why I chose SFA. Our team and the veterans, they're really pushing us. They're really showing us what it takes to make it to that level, you know. How much work it took for them to get to the tournament, and, you know, day-to-day -day practice, how much work we gotta put in, how hard we gotta go. It's the next level, it really is. SFA is known for winning, you know. I just wanna go to a winning program. That's all, that's all I know, this is how to win. Do whatever it takes to win. They challenged me. They, 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 they really challenged me on to be a better per, uh, player. Uh, they pushed me to my limit. Like, if I feel like I can, you know, I feel like I feel like I went as hard as I can. They pushed me to another whole, another level. So you know, I like that about them. We go hard every day. You know, Coach says he wants everyday guys. You know, any day that you take off is the day that you can't get back. Coach Mitch, our strength coach, always tells us, you know, you're never you're never gonna stay the same each day. Each day, either you get better or you get worse. And every day we strive to get better. And we have our days where, you know, we, n we don't have the best day. But we have more days where we're getting better, we're improving as a team. And because we demand that from each other every day, when we get on the court, it just makes things so much easier. It's more free-flowing because we practice hard. And you're going to get your results if you, get, if you put in hard work.